Among the plants in your ornamental or vegetable garden, or out in your landscape, or near your home, there are spiders you can appreciate. While spiders have no personalities and intelligence like the common barn spider Charlotte in the book Charlotte's Web, they play an extremely valuable role in helping to reduce pest insect populations and their behavior and diversity in form and color is fascinating. Of the several hundred species of spiders in the Great Plains, only a few are poisonous or have medical importance, and they are not very common in the landscape. The brown recluse and black widow each have specific markings to help identify them. The brown recluse has a fiddle marking on the front part of the body called a carapace, and the bright red hourglass marking on the abdomen of the black widow is easy to see. Among the larger and more colorful spiders is the orb weaver spider called the yellow garden spider. It is most often observed in late summer and is active during the day. It feeds primarily on grasshoppers, katydids, and moths which accidentally land in its sticky web. It wraps its prey with silk, injects venom and powerful digestive enzymes, and later feeds on its victim. An equally attractive cousin to the yellow garden spider is the banded garden spider, which has similar habits. It has many bands of dazzling white hairs on its body. One of the rather drab workhorses around buildings or shrubs and near lights is the barn spider. It builds its orb web at sunset and captures flying insects and dines upon them through the night. Then in early morning, it completely disassembles and redigests its own web and hides away to rest in the daytime. What an appetite! Many people are frightened by the larger species of wolf spiders because they are thought to be dangerous. They do have large eyes and conspicuous fangs, but they are not considered to be poisonous. Wolf spiders prowl about for large insects such as field crickets, or they may just hang around at the entrance to their lairs, just waiting for that inattentive, juicy cricket to come too near. The Carolina wolf spider can easily be identified by its color pattern, especially on its underside with its jet black body and bands on its legs. Hmm, I wonder how do you get a wolf spider to turn over? Another familiar wolf spider is Hogna aspersa, which really has no common name. Generally, adult females are almost black and they have banding on the legs. Along the middle of the carapace, there is a distinctive thin orange line used to confirm identification. An adult female wolf spider protects her egg sac by carrying it underneath its body until the young spiderlings hatch. During your walk in the landscape, you may discover a puffy looking female carrying its newly hatched young on her back. But in time, as she scampers about on the ground, all of the hungry spiderlings eventually drop off and start a new life on their own. Fishing spiders resemble wolf spiders, but they are more agile and have numerous decorative markings and bands on the body. As their name suggests, they mainly hunt near rivers and ponds for insects on the shore or for minnows in shallow water. One highly beneficial but messy spider is the grass spider. It is a mottled gray-brown in color and well over a half inch long. It is fairly distinctive because of its long finger-like spinnerets at the tip of the abdomen and the two dark stripes on its front carapace. But what makes identification conclusive is its dense, broad, sheet-like web with a central tunnel in which it hides. The moment an insect lands on the web, the spider pounces upon it and drags it down into its lair in a flash. Grass spiders over time create an unsightly appearance to lawns, ornamental plants and shrubs, and even home exteriors as they build and then abandon their nests. Among the several kinds of crab spiders, one that is most impressive is the goldenrod crab spider. It has the ability to blend in with the color of any flower on which it is perched in order to seize its prey. 
jumping spiders are stout, fuzzy spiders with various colorful markings. They have excellent eyesight and rotate their bodies as they follow movement of insects. They can instantly leap great distances to capture their prey. One of the more common species is the daring jumping spider, which can be a half inch long. It often can be observed on exterior surfaces of homes as well as in the landscape. It tends to be aggressive and confrontational, and it has these brilliant metallic blue-green fangs. Spiders enrich our lives by the way they function and contribute within a much broader community of plants and animals. Take time now to wander about in your backyard. Pause here and there with your eyes open to the smaller world of spiders before you. Who knows what you may discover?